Hello everyone, I'm the White Foot Soldier and I'm extremely excited because I just got back from Target. Um, I stopped in after work to get some Mega Bloks Ninja Turtle figures and I thought, hey, I'll check the uh, Playmates line and lo and behold, there was an April O'Neil Space Comrade, there was a Robug and a Casey Jones Space Vigilante and there was only one of each and I got those three and I looked right below it and there was one Fugitoid ship as well so I have all four in hand and I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing each one of these um, one by one so we're gonna start off with the April O'Neil Space Comrade you can see that April comes in the Dimension X packaging um, that you're used to seeing with some of the newer figures I actually was so excited, I still have my work clothes on, I came right home and turned on the camera. Here you can see April's bio. Zoom in on that. And on the back card we don't see any new figures aside from obviously the three that I just mentioned, um, which we have Robug there, April, and Casey. So let's snap this figure open and see what April O'Neil Space Comrade is all about. I always try to be careful to keep the cards straight because I do collect the collector cards in the back. So I'm going to try to do my best there. We'll check out the leaflet at the end and make sure that nothing is in there that we haven't seen already. So there's April completely unboxed. Sorry my lighting's a little bit weird in here. I don't know why the overhead lighting's kinda let me see if I can turn this one off actually. I don't know if that's better or worse. Yeah, it might be a little worse actually. I'll turn that light back on. Alright so we see that April comes with three different, or I'm sorry, two different accessories, that's a holster. So we'll pop out the first accessory, which is a cool looking gun. And the second accessory, the second accessory I mean. I'm sorry, the laser blaster. Let me get that correct. You have the laser blaster there. The next piece is April's space helmet. As you can see. So, always good to get accessories. And you'll notice in the back that April has some twist ties on her. So, let me get these off quickly so we can have a look at her. Um, by the way, guys, be sure to that um, you take these up to the uh, cashier where you price check because you can get these figures for $8.99 a piece. Right now they're $9.99 according to the shelf. Um, but I was able to get them for $8.99 a piece. I brought up one of the Lord Dreg figures actually and told them that all the turtle figures are $8.99 and, and she uh, price matched. So save you a couple bucks if you buy all three of them obviously. doesn't want to come out. There we go. Slide these out of the way. And let's pop out April. Now that is a cool April figure. That might be my favorite April April figure figure that we have gotten from Playmates Toys. I love the white coloring. It's it's kind of a more uh, bright, um, shiny white rather than just a solid solid white. So let's check out the articulation on her. So we get some a head swivel there. Get some shoulders. We get any wrists? No, we get elbows. Well, actually wrists, kind of a little below the elbow there. So you can see that kind of get some wrist slash elbow action there. Um, we do not get any knee joints, which is okay by me. 
Get some swiveled hips. No ankle joints, but that's okay. The April face, I think the April face looks great. Um, the lighting in here is not, not the best, but um, I think the April face looks really good. And it looks like everything's pretty much painted on this figure. My paint's not the best up by the, um, the detail on the chest area there. Some of the blacks rubbed off. Also got a little bit of um, chipping going on on her headband. Let's take a look at her backside. It looks like we have all the detail that, well, yeah. I was going to say all the detail seems to be painted. Um, she has a pocket there, but that's part of her pants. So of course, that should be yellow. We get some trim around the waist. Um, let's see what else. Well, let's actually set her down. Now that she's out of the box, we can set her down. Actually, that looks better now with the, the lighting's a little bit brighter with her down. Let's slide on her hat, or her helmet. Sorry, I'm so excited about this. Oh, look, it pops in the back actually too, that's cool. So, if you stick that down in, pops in the back, that's nice, so then it stays in place and doesn't look weird just hanging off of her head. So, there's April. And let's see how her gun, oh, let's see if her gun fits in the holster. Maybe like that. No, that, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> oh, the holster pops off too, so if you want to take the holster out. There we go. There we go. Alright, so gun fits in the holster. And there is April O'Neill, Space Comrade. Do a quick comparison for you guys because I'm no I know that you're gonna want to do this once you get this figure. So to give you a little taste, here's the other April that we already got, and you can see a big difference. Um, obviously, there's um, articulation-wise somewhat similar um, for the most part. Um, I don't even remember actually on the old April. Yeah, so it's pretty much. A lot of similarity as far as that goes, but this overall sculpt, I believe, is a lot better on the um, jumpsuit for April in this new figure. And let's check out the heads, the head and face of these. So you can see that there's a big difference. There's a lot more detail on this new April, and it really looks show accurate. It looks exactly like the cartoon, which is cool. We don't get a long ponytail on um, the back like we get on the, the older April. It's kind of a slick slick back hair look and the hair is a brighter orange so that that actually isn't my camera there the, the hair is a more bright orange um, for the new April and I gotta say that I'm really pleased with this I was very excited when I saw it online and my excitement hasn't changed with it now that it's in hand so let's put our helmet back on there a little bit difficult to stand. Her legs kind of pull together actually whenever you put them down there. Let me see. Yeah, they kind of, like I said, pull together there. So there is Space April, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the quick unboxing and the short review. Um, look for a full write-up on the whitefootsoldier.com, and I'll, I'll be sure to take a bunch of pictures of these new uh, figures as well, along with the Fugitoid spaceship. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a ton of pictures, all TMNT, of course. Um, there'll be a bunch of pictures of these new figures in the Fugitoid ship on there as well, and you can also follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check out the uh, Robug Casey Jones and Fugitoid Ship videos coming up next. Thank you.